another episode here on our channel you might be wondering um, why we've got the police here well it's uh, nothing to do with uh, illegal activities I can assure you that but uh, eight to ten months ago um, we applied for a firearms license a permit to or a license to own a firearm and uh, part of the requirements for that is for the police um, to come have an inspection on the facility of where the firearm will be stored and the uh, location uh, or the purpose of the firearm uh, which is for the plantation because um, I think that might be the only time you may be allowed to own a firearm is for the purpose of plantations because it is illegal to own a firearm and uh, the only legal firearms that you're allowed to own would be a shotgun a 22 rifle uh, i think it's a 22 single shot um, and some other but it's, uh, i don't want to get into the whole jargon of it um, but yeah so the police will be here today um, so so the police are here today to carry out that inspection and uh, hopefully you guys might enjoy this episode in the near future you want to own a firearm here in Samoa. So uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share our channel and uh Alright, so this is one of the uh, requirements of the by the police is that uh, the storage facility for the firearm uh, needs to be secure. Um, so we're building just small box here which will be the uh, storage facility of the of the firearm so i'm just utilizing old pallets we had lying around here at the house and then we've chopped them up and built this so i'm just left with the door um, to build just need to find some hinges so that we can actually make the door close but uh, so far it's looking good. I think that's a bit over a meter. Um, and then the other requirement is that the back side of the storage unit for the firearm has to be against the wall so that nobody can get in behind. Um, and that uh, and the firearm has to be secured inside. So uh, just gonna fix up the door now. Um, probably make a shelf somewhere here. Uh, just a shelf on the top here where we can put the ammunition as it's separate from the fire but yeah i actually uh, hit my thumb there with the hammer while i was doing this so it took me about an hour and a half now to, to recover from the pain uh, but still gotta get this done knowledge at the moment so I'm just going off my head but uh, 
That's why I'm starting to see some imperfections in the design. This side um, is not actually plush um, because when I try to, so let's, I've got this piece of wood here and I want, I want it to be, I actually want it to be leveled with the side of this so that when we actually attach the hinge, it, uh, it, uh, it'll be a lot easier to open it. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's a little off. I mean, I think that's the best I can get it. Um, yeah, just, uh, you know, trying to work my way through it, you know, with the stuff that I have. Um, but hopefully it'll suffice. I'm trying my best. I can't work much when I've got a sore thumb. Hee. All right, so uh, we finally uh, finished. Well, probably 95% finished with the design. Um, it's a bit rough, but it's because I'm not a carpenter and I uh, was just coming off uh, the ideas in my head. So, so here we've got the final um, stand. Uh, the final, not stand, the actual um, box or storage unit that will store the firearm. We've got the top shelf there for the ammunition. And then uh, we've got our door here. Unfortunately, I don't have hinges, so I'm going to get the hinges uh, later on today um, from our local store. And then we'll bang on the door. And then, uh, yeah, she'll be good. Um, I do want to add one more bit of... Uh, uh, just like there's this uh, black cloth, furry cloth that we usually see on uh, speakers and stuff. So I'm going to use that to wrap the body of the, of the storage unit. But so far it's uh, it's looking really good. It's, it came out a lot better than I expected. I'm just going to wait for the police now and then I will head to, they'll come and inspect. Uh, they'll come and ex they will come and uh, inspect the storage the unit here and then uh, we'll head to the plantation because they have to confirm that I indeed have a plantation and the purpose of this firearm is for pigs and stuff so um, roaming pigs I mean roaming cows and wild pigs so remember guys that I did have a roaming pig roaming cows and wild pig problem that was actually tearing up the plantation um, so I think uh, I think it's uh, it's about time, you know, because if these people don't want to go look after their livestock, then it's it's about time I take matters, you know, just a little bit up, you know. But uh, yeah, guys, just gonna wait for the team. Uh, so the team coming is actually the tactical operations section uh, for the Ministry of Police, and uh, they're the closest you can get to military here in Samoa. They're probably like military equivalent of uh there were very special force here in samo so um they'll be come checking out all of this and then uh, we'll head to the farm because they're the ones that actually issue the permit and the license to own a firearm so. all right guys so we just uh finished inspection here at the house um, everything went well just some minor modifications we have to do uh, but so far it's uh, the police guys uh, uh, say that it's it's, uh, it's a good setup so uh, we're just gonna head now to the plantation with the boys with the boys with the police <laughs> and then we're gonna check on the farm so that uh, they can see that uh, to justify um, us So uh, we're just almost at the plantation. I'm just waiting for the uh, the team to uh, um, get by so that we can all go at the same time.
So unfortunately, the rain has uh, deteriorated the road conditions again. Um, but uh, again, uh, the police just wanted to see if everything checks out. So uh, everything now checks out, thankfully. And we're just gonna head uh, back. I'm gonna head back home and the boys, the boys, the police will head out uh, to continue because they've got other farmers to inspect uh, for the same thing. So yeah, guys, we'll get back to you at home. They're just uh, doing some final checks before it comes home, um, and then uh, yeah, that's it for today. So we're just gonna head back home and then uh, I'll finish off the episode there uh, with you guys. Just gotta keep an eye on the road because uh, conditions have gone really bad. back home now and uh, the police have left and uh, just uh, you know show you guys some of the modifications that uh, we need to do in order to get this um, to the level that uh, the pliers so this shelf I made for the ammunition has to have a separate lock so I will have to try and fit another door another opening door here which uh, will lock the ammunition from the actual compartment which will have the firearm um, I need to get the hinges done um, so that it's secured add a padlock to it um, so that we can open and close the door um, but again uh, that's about it so and then get the full thing the entire uh, container sealed um, so it's nice and uh, clean and it doesn't have these gaps that we see here these gaps in the wood um, but for the most part it uh, so until I get these final changes done um, then uh, the police will have to come and uh, inspect it if not I can take it to them um, to get the final approval so just these minor changes left and uh, should be okay so I'm just gonna add a door here uh, just a small door I can open like that um, it'll definitely have its own, own lock there as well um, but yeah, not bad, not bad. So yeah, guys, uh, that's uh, it from us today. Um, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Again, uh, it's something I did want to do in a lot more detail, but uh, I was just talking with the the police, and uh, maybe we can get an interview, and um, you know, we we can discuss some questions and stuff that uh, we may have. Um, but then they said uh, we have to get uh, permission from. Uh, the higher up ranking officers and hopefully and if I may need to get to the commissioner then we'll probably ask permission from the commissioner but comment down below guys if you want a detailed episode of how to own a firearm here in Samoa because it's something uh, we can definitely uh, work on because firearms are illegal in Samoa um, but uh, these are some of the few exceptions that uh, the police will allow you to own a firearm is for the purpose of your plantation and cattle farm um, to uh, when you're about to slaughter a cow uh, for the meat so then they'll allow it um, to, so that's the main purpose and that's why uh, we have to get the we have to get these the storage container the facility here um, we have to get that right and uh, because safety is paramount um, there's no playing around when you have firearms in the house, especially when you also have kids as well. So where the the um, unit will be stored has to be looked into as well. Um, 
what is it within reach of a child um, and that's why we have two separate locks as well so the lock for the ammunition and the lock for the actual fire for the actual firearm so it's something to and that's why police uh, really go into detail um, in checking all of these things because safety is paramount and it's it's something to be taken it's not taken lightly it's um, no joking matter when owning a firearm so there's a lot of safety uh safety rules when handling a firearm and uh we've, uh, we've already gone through that training with the police but uh, i guess that's it from us today guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode make sure to like comment subscribe share our channel and uh, we'll see you on the next episode until then god bless take care stay safe